Now, I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business when they're out here not minding theirs. Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea. We all know you're here for it, sis. <laughs> Hi, my ninjas. How are you guys doing? It's a girl. I'm Shongane, aka Miss Fear Focal. Bunny back for entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I'm most definitely welcome. Please do subscribe and, of course, hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at oh, I'm Shongane. Anyway. Thank you guys so so much for yesterday's comments um on yesterday's video honestly you guys have got no idea how much that means to me my comment section i read each and every single comment and there was not a single negative comment that was there that i saw anyway so thank you guys so so much for the love i really do appreciate it and i know sometimes like you know we talk about the hate on youtube but the love is always like a billion times more so thank you guys so so much um i really highly appreciate i did say a lot of you guys came up with a lot of suggestions and i'm going to take some of those into consideration in terms of i don't think i am going to say therapist and i always say this you guys i've been on a therapist hunt for quite some time now i've been called my old therapist who i love so so much uh but the problem is she's in joburg so i'm still just sorting myself out and i think i can definitely afford to go to joburg like once a month um you know just to see her on that day and all that so i'm uh going to try my best to actually do whatever it is that i can i mean, I will, i've a medical aid so it's going to even be free so i honestly have no excuse i should just go ahead and maybe get a therapist to this side and book one and just see how it goes <laughs> so thank you guys so so much thank you so much anyway let's go ahead and get into today's video which obviously is story time as you guys have seen by that title i know some of you love story times and i had stopped but i feel like now i'm gonna just be doing videos that make me happy like that's it if i if it makes me happy i'm gonna do it um, I'm gonna do entertainment. I'm not gonna like really just you know be too like oh I need to do I'm not gonna put pressure on myself. So if today there'll be four videos, there'll be two, four videos. If tomorrow there'll be two, there'll be two. So that's what I'm actually going to be doing. As I told you guys, I'm trying to actually just get a schedule that is going to work for me so that 2020 we can just go ahead and fall flourish. Okay. So anyway, this third time you guys is quite sad. Um but again it's also a blessing i don't honestly know yet like uh what the lesson or like i don't even know how to say this like what you you can learn from this i guess you can take whatever it is that you can take but it is something that obviously happened and it's a story time so i'm going to go ahead and just talk about it because i feel it's really dear to my heart um so i grew up in venda obviously you guys know that my mom passed away in 2013 and after my mom passed away you guys honestly you guys know how it is families especially like from your father's side there'll always be problems at most times not always but at most times and i was one of those people that were unfortunate that that happened and for years um it's something i will talk about but just not now honestly i don't think anytime soon i'm not even going to lie to you because it was something that highly hurt me and i feel like i'm still in that spiritual journey to just say let me forgive child and you know forget <laughs> so talking about things like that uh, it does not make things any easier so i hope you guys will understand me when it comes to that but um there was a point where like from 2013 um 2014 um i had to be like financially responsible for my sisters my baby sisters um and my baby sister uh, uh the one that comes after me obviously fell pregnant uh with ray and so when i say i you guys it's me and my husband my husband has always been there so um yeah when i say i just know it's me and my husband <laughs> we are one <laughs> so um you know obviously like when my when my baby sister fell pregnant i stayed with us from one month of pregnancy up until nine months she delivered stayed with them again for another six months um and when there was six ray was six months um i had to take them to venda because financially like honestly it was just no longer balancing Abi had lost his job and things were just really hard at that time so they had to go to venda as much as we didn't want that um so the time that i was cooking by the side of the road i remember like my my sister would call like hey you know because i was taking 
her to school. My baby sister, the one that is a baby. I was taking her to school, um, and I was like a hundred percent responsible for her. I was a hundred percent responsible for Ray. And um, my aunt, who's my mother's older sister, um, obviously she's unemployed because she's also older. So she was the one that was taking care of uh, my youngest sister. But I'd also have to help, like you know, sometimes when we transport money and whatnot. And I, I honestly would not even lie. Like my uh, sisters from my aunt, like my mother's sisters daughters because she has three daughters just like my mom honestly they played a huge role in our lives like i life would just not be without them them and my aunt honestly like they became a rock and everything after um a mom passed so whew, you know but it was honestly not easy because they're also married they also have their own families and so i also had to play my part in terms of like i felt responsible for my baby sisters and ray and all that so i'm just grateful that at least i had my husband whenever everything was happening when i tell you guys that i have actually passed through hellfire <laughs> i would be here honestly um they say what does not kill you makes you stronger but sometimes i say what does not kill you makes you bitter and um you know being at a bitter place is somewhere where you just don't want to be but at the end of the day sometimes you don't even tell yourself you're going there you don't even feel yourself um going there you just find yourself um having arrived there you understand what i'm saying so honestly it's been a lot so with everything that was happening you guys when you're busy dealing with like financial problems you know your biggest worry is what are we going to eat tomorrow or day after tomorrow you don't really have time to like think about a lot of things like what are people saying here and then and that and me being vendor um and from a, a village which obviously you guys know like you know cultural af so um whether if your parent is right or wrong your parent is right and whether if you are right or wrong you are always wrong whenever it comes to like you know the elders and all that so i always used to just think that everyone just looked at me like i'm the rebellious daughter even though they never knew like really what went down um so i honestly just told myself that you know that village is not for me anyway whenever i go i like go there i don't like it you know and all that ish so that was just how i'm living my life you know so i remember last year 2018 i uh posted a picture on facebook and it was a picture of me ray and my two baby sisters and i think i titled it something like my whole entire world i love you girls so much something like that and there was this comment you guys that actually shook me down to the core um it was of this other lady you guys she was really not that old um she she was i think her early early 40s very early like maybe 40 two forty three forty four somewhere there um she was still very very young you guys but obviously a lot older than me because i'm 29 right so i remember growing up like she was not really like my neighbor but she was somewhere where if i'm at my home and i scream she could probably hear me but she was a lot closer to my grandmothers because my grandmothers and my home is also very close so um i knew her in terms of like if we meet we we'll greet like how are you are you okay how are you doing Doing, you know we would stop and talk and laugh and pass but it was not like that i wasn't that close to her in terms of like i'd go to her home or we would call each other honestly it was not even like that um but uh obviously like i knew like we had that respect for each other like i, I loved her i respected her because she was obviously someone that i knew and obviously she, like she was always nice to you guys i'm not even going to lie um so under that picture she commented and when i tell you that she was just saying good things like blessings honestly she said things like um you know she called me with my vendor name which you guys know is tembu and she was like you know tembu um um god is going to bless you so much for what you did for your sisters um you know god has seen like what your heart um you have a heart of gold like and she said so many nice things you guys like money will follow you no matter where you go your doors are open like honestly that was like such a a message and it's so unfortunate because i then like back then 
I think I deleted the picture or something. I do not because I checked. Or maybe it's because it's so far. I can't find it. But I was going to actually just put the comment somewhere there. Um, and honestly, you guys, OMG. She said so many nice things. So many sweet things. She said blessings, actually. And I remember I was just so shocked at the fact that the way that she spoke it was as if she knew like what i had gone through you know like she knew the pain i'd went through how i had to carry them and how you know everything like that and i i just thought remember i was thinking like oh everyone hates me <laughs> in the village they look at me like i'm just this person and here's someone that i look like i love and obviously like not necessarily to say I look up to, but she was someone that was respectable, you know, she was married, she had a, a son, you know, she was um, a mistress, so she was really like just, she was a respectable person, and she's saying all these things, and you could definitely tell that it came from a place of love, it was something that she said, and she actually thought of what to actually write, but it was one of the sweetest things that I've ever read, you guys, and it wasn't just a comment, honestly, it was just pure blessings like what she was actually saying to me um so i just remember i just said uh oh thank you so so much my sister i received every single thing that you just said right and um that was that honestly it was a bit strange for me it felt it i it, it i i don't know how to say this you guys but it, it it came to me and i feel like it went to my soul like i i received that and i was like you know what i'm going to work obviously my youtube channel that time was already paying but I was not making as much as I'm making now, obviously, because my channel was still smaller. And again, I still had a lot of things to back pay and all that stuff. So I wasn't like, you know, moneyed. Not even that I'm moneyed now, but <laughs> I was not at a place where I'm at now, right? So, um,. After I think about two weeks, I am in Newcastle with my husband. I remember this so well as if it was yesterday. Um, I'm in the queue to go to McDonald's and so like it was the drive through um, So I get a call, it's my aunt and my aunt is saying, oh, Tempu, you know, um, who, who passed away? The same person that I just commented all those nice things. Honestly, my heart was torn, you guys. My heart was so painful so painful i remember i just went back to that comment um and i just read that comment and i was like oh, how could you like just bless me like that and then like you're going to just pass um and little did i know i just found out that they said that she had been in the hospital for i think like about three weeks or something she was not well so which means that that message she must have typed it when she was actually in the hospital and i was like I felt like it was so selfless in terms of she's dealing with something that was obviously serious because it also took her life but she was out there busy like just saying these nice things to me and honestly you guys I'm not even going to lie after she passed away I took those words as blessings and whenever like good things are happening those words always come in my mind when she was basically saying that you know money will come left right middle and center doors are open and whatnot and whatnot and I, I guess like you know she blessed me from her deathbed and she passed and I'm just so grateful that you know she did that honestly I'm just so grateful that she did that um so that's the story time you guys that actually happened it's quite sad but I feel like the the only happy ending that I can say is that the things that she said I see them like manifesting in my life right now so I wish like she was around to actually see this um, and I would definitely like if I went home I would have gone to her house like to just sit and say thank you so much like this is what's happening now this is what's happening now and as much as we're not like that close I feel like the, the words that she gave me will have me have some sort of attachment to her forever because um, I know like it's not like oh I'm getting all these nice things because of her but I do believe that she blessed me and um, I don't even know how to say this you guys but anyway have you guys ever had an experience like that where you know someone that was about to pass said something um, and those things like started coming to pass and I know sometimes like it can be negative if it's negative reject immediately 
if it's positive then take honey but if it's negative don't even comment like just reject it just say yeah someone said something and i reject it you know like we're well, not gonna be out here accepting no uh negative shit in our lives honey but that's the story time you guys and i felt it was really just so sweet um so yeah anyway as i said go ahead and comment down below i love you so so much go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um yeah i will see you guys in my next upload bye my ninjas